Well, I'm first and foremost, I live a great day to Yahawa, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Yahakadash, double and one to the elders, and apostles are given me a stone, salutation, we are here pushing this word in sincerity and truth, so says your brother Yassad, back at you with another lesson, we'll need to define, so basically this one here, it is clearly the Lord will never cast off or totally forsake Israel right um, and we let's go into a couple precepts into that because you would see a lot of lies about the Israelites was long ago and they were they were wiped out or or all the Israelites is no more none of these things Right? The Lord not dealing with the and a lot of the doctrines of the Christians is the Lord not dealing with um the, the what took place when the Lord um separated himself from Israel when Israel was going off. They say well the Lord power with Israel and whatsoever whatsoever them is not chosen people again and all this foolishness they would say. But the Lord created this this world for, for the Israelites, safe, mainly the elect, right? And he he would never cast us off forever. Jeremiah 31 36, it says, I'll start at verses 35. Thus said the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon of the star and of the stars for a light by night, which is the sun and the moon, which divided the sea. When the waves are off raw, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith Yahweh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So we exactly saying is if in if you not seeing the moon or the star, then what? Then the, the train of Israel will no longer be a part of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And that's why this devil many attempts to, to, to send nukes to the moon, send nukes to the sun. You know, and, 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 and we know about these things. You know, yeah, I mean, it is China making an artificial sun. You know, <coughs> they made an artificial sun. But no matter what they do, you know, the, the Lord set the bones that they can pass, right? And and the stars and the moon is actually like a sign, it's like a, it's like a sign that hey, the Lord still dealing with Israel. Once you see the moon and the stars actually, you know, out there, it's visual, you don't know, hey, the Lord still dealing with Israel, right? It's if those ordinances depart from before me, say the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So that is to show you, and that is something impossible. Unless if the Lord himself, you know, take away the sun and the moon. It say, does say the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, and the foundations of the earth search out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all they have done say it yeah, and this proves that they did the devil the wicked has not searched out the whole earth yet you know because remember we did not too long a couple hundred years ago came from the old world the old landscape the map uh, of um, the ancient world right and now we into this modern world here, America, the Caribbean, all the different places, right? And surely there's islands and there's many places upon earth that this man haven't, you know, discovered yet. Yeah, it see, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel. For all that they have done to say the Lord, and which is impossible because this man, he, he cannot search out the heaven and the earth, you know. Um, 
Invoca Romans 11 and 1. Let's say I say then, Hatia, how about Hashem, I wish I cast away his people? Yeah, well, forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Yahweh had not cast away his people which he foreknew. So this is to show you that the Lord has always been dealing with Israel. The foreknew is to know beforehand, know before. Would he not taught the scriptures say it of Elias or make it intercession to Yahweh against Israel saying Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down my altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But, but what said the answer of Yahweh unto him? I reserved to myself seven thousand men, which which seven seven the number seven is, we would say call that the Lord's number, which actually goes into completion. So a complete number, of men, is reserved. Who had not bowed to the knee of the image of Baal, which is this this current system, the common in with with this current system because the that system was always against the prophets, that system was always against righteousness, right? Because the prophets they actually represent Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and we being in the likeness of him in righteousness right hmm. so with that with that being said we we not for this man's folly you know um another piece up here in Malak Malachi chapter three and six and also remember our name is Yasha Allah. He is the Prince of the Heavenly Father. So we being um we become like the Lord's Son. Like why in the Hebrews he say he chastened the um his son every son you receive it he scourge it and he chastened it, you know. And who the Lord love, he does chasten because we went off, we did wrong when when a child is, is going off and doing wrong things. You had to, you know, street now that child. You had to beat that child for the child to know. And that is what the Lord is doing. So once the Lord not beating you, you know, getting trials, no, no, everything in life just running smooth for you. The Lord not dealing with you. Right? And I like to show you, the Lord is dealing with the, 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 the house of Israel, mainly the elect. You know, the curses upon us. And then being a part of this truth here, he that departed from, you know, iniquity, make it himself a prey. Right? But the Lord say here in Malachi 3 and 6, it say, For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right? Yeah. I'm going to get a so. Deuteronomy 32 and 9. Let's see. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Yeah, pa. So... So basically, I'm gonna see if I pull up the Hebrew letter Bible. And uh, and I will see it say for the people of Israel belong to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Jacob is his special possession. So if we we the Lord's special possession, it's obvious the Lord would take care of us. That's why he say, um, he girded us though we had not known him. Because in, in his eyes, hey, um, Zephaniah, it recommends us as being his the apple of his eye. Right? And all in all we kind of name it come like we 
we we yeah we actually are the lord's son you wouldn't want to see your son go astray and you being a rich man you don't want your son turning to the dogs and being a, a vagrant on the street and you have so much inheritance to give him so for him to receive that inheritance he had to step up he game he had to show you responsible show he have discipline you know all these things but if he not carry any criteria as to that you had a you had a you had a street name you know and that is what the lord doing with us because we is his special possession right and and we carry in his name who is the prince of yahweh bashem yoshai you know the prince of yahweh right um isaiah 48 and, and 9 yeah but please appear So don't think you as a typical man who is all human beings. The Lord so he separated the, the nations according to you know the, the lot of Israel. Um Isaiah 48 and 9 for my name's sake, because he is the heavenly father Yahweh, and we as the princes of Yahweh. So what would a king do if his son, you know, misbehaving? He would let go stripes on him. You know? Let's say, for my name's sake will I defer my anger, and my praise will I refrain for thee, because I'll, a, a father will always have pity on his son. I will ref, I refrain for thee. So the Lord hold back. So that's why the scripture says, oh, the Lord is wink at the ignorance. Look at the, the state of Jake, and look at the wickedness, and yet... The Lord, in the end, the Lord going and make all people righteous. I mean, yeah, he going and bring judgment upon Jacob in this time, but in the kingdom of heaven to be established, all the Israelites is going to come back. And they're going to be righteous. It's safe. Let us show you mercy. Isaiah 45, 17, I'll bring that after. It says, I, I refrain for thee that I cut thee not off, because the beating that we supposed to begin with what we have done because all we transgression is by debt is the lord not supposed to leave no slack upon we and yet he sent yahweh shai to send grace you know what we the covenant which we, what we make with the lord hey, we not supposed to be showing no grace all now we still in sh in hardcore bondage shackles being transported all over on ships we even know how to talk because the, the, the so-called white man is the same oppression we put into death if we, if we read if we mothers trying to circumcise we train all these things and we're in a real bad state now because we don't know the heavenly father but now we know that to show you the mercy the lord bringing you know that to show you his mercy isaiah 45 17 it say but israel shall be saved in the lord who are we gonna be saved in, in in our father our heavenly father as it say that we is the prince of the heavenly father so he is his son so we we shall be saved in our father heavenly father with an everlasting salvation he shall not be ashamed nor confounded the world without end and this world goes into cosmos that we, we relate into an individual you know um you know in a in a in a specific group you know and Let me get the book of um, Ezekiel 36.22 Therefore see unto the house of Israel thus saith the Lord power I do not this for your sake also of Israel for my name for mine holy name's sake which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, 
which was profane among the heathen. And how is the Lord doing that now? It is by sending back our laws, such and commandments, our heritage back unto us. You know, that is why we men, you know, the scripture says, um, it was for us that, just roughly paraphrasing, that we went away from the Lord. So now that we find him, seek him ten times more. So the men enter this world, the, 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 the keeping the laws, such and commandments, to the best of their ability, serving the Lord in this time. You know, and great, the Lord's name is going to be published. Mm -hmm. Right now, it is being published heavily. You know, and when the miracles be done, hey, the heathens would know. The heathens would know who we really are. They would understand we are that people. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. This is all going to manifest. It say, What well, profane among the heathen which ye have profane in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know. That I am the Lord, thus say the Lord Yahweh, when I shall be sanctified in you before the eyes. Because the time coming where hey, the Lord is going to bring great havoc on this place. But yet he would be delivering the elect. He would be bringing the elect through all these different plagues and these things safely. And, and he's even going to uplift spiritual power upon certain of the elect men. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Yeah, and that is what is going to be deliverance unto the children of Israel. Second is just chapter 9. Twenty-two. It say, but we know that uh, there is a lot of Israelites that would actually be destroyed, right? Because they didn't return. They didn't choose the Arab Hashem Yishai, right? Our status versus. Eighteen and now when I prepare the world which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in now live, no man speak against me. For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves. Yeah, because we 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 going after the law our hour. Wickedness, not after the law of Yahweh, Bashem, you know. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. And we know a description, so when the so called white man come, you know, um, greater um, evils multiplied on the face of the earth, and the time of uh, Antiochus, etc. And so I right, and I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people you know and ah uh, because this was related unto the the, the house of israel because our people started to go off real dread you know until they, at times everyone was corrupt in israel in a sense of like the the, the leaders they, that was the shepherds that was corrupt they were sold sell out you know and i yeah. and here is the lord here is what the lord saying you know that he kept a grip of his cluster which is the elect you know that remnant right let's say for with great labor have i made it perfect he's gonna refine us with with, with adversity and that is why it's taking place right now because it will be created for our six. I'll bring that piece up. Nevertheless, right, let's say, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain and, vain, and let my grip be kept, and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. Because Jacob's trouble, all these different trials for the elect, you know, to purify us. Right. 
as it suggests as gold and silver is refined, so is acceptable man in the fullness of adversity. Okay. Second is just six and fifty-five. I'll end off for that. Let's see. All this have I spoken. I must start at verses. Right. All this have I spoken, O Lord, because thou made us the world for our sakes. Verse 29. If the world then. 59. Jump down to 59. If the world then we now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? And soon the Lord. The Lord is going to make it that the whole world is going to be given unto Israel. Right? Because he, for his great name's sake, and he promised. Hopefully it's also edifying. Double and say, elders and apostles, I get no stone. Salute to you, Akiams. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, 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 Yahweh, H